Jennifer, now to the breaking news we've been following in Northeast Harris County. Two teenage girls are dead after a violent overnight crash. And the teenage boy who was driving the car is charged in their deaths. We've been tracking the story since 4.30 this morning, and since then we've learned all of the teenagers in the car were high school students. Our Kathy Hernandez is covering live from the scene near Atascacita this morning. Kathy? Well, good morning. Yes, it's a very tragic. The scene is clear, but you can still see a lot of debris here in the median. You can also see the tree that was damaged in that very violent crash. The sheriff tells us the three teens involved in this crash were students at Atascacita High School right now out for the summer. But we just checked the first day of school. It's less than a month away. The crash was so violent. The car was cut in half. One piece ended in the median of Timber Forest Drive near Atascacita Road. The other other in the roadway. Deputies say 17 year old Jagger Smith was speeding and lost control at about 1230 this morning. They say he slammed into several trees. A 16 to 17 year old girl in the back seat lost her life here on the scene. Paramedics flew a 16 year old girl in the passenger seat to the hospital via life flight, but she also passed away. Deputies say Smith, who had minor injuries, was drunk at the time of the crash. This morning, the sheriff has a strong message for for everyone in Harris County. It could happen at any point. I mean, again, this is just seems like a like a, a secondary street that feeds off a major thoroughfare. And here we have major loss of life, uh, two two dead already, uh, young lives. You know, just probably finishing up high school or, or near their going into their senior year. And you hate to see this, and we see it every year where someone loses their life. We're here on Timber Forest where the speed limit is 40 miles an hour. A witness actually told deputies it appeared that driver was going 70 to 80 miles an hour. Right now, as part of the investigation, deputies tell us they will work to try to figure out exactly where the teen was able to get a hold of alcohol. We'll continue to follow this developing story. You can look for updates on air and online at click2houston.com. Reporting live in the Itascacita area, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you so much.